So these spiritual practices, on one level, like I said, everybody is basically doing the qigong just an everyday living. They just don't realize it. Some have more awareness than others. When a person who becomes aware of these things, all you're doing is just took the things that you're already doing and took them at a more cutting edge level. Did that make sense? Yeah. In other words, everybody's already breathing. Now a person learns, let me control my breathing. You're bringing at a more cutting edge level to get better results on the vehicle. You were already moving around walking. But now you understand, oh, I was designed to move. So you start moving more, you start taking out a more cutting edge level. And, and, and we before we were just looking at these as spiritual practices, but it's really, you're just taking things out of cutting edge level. That's what we're basically basing it on. Or your body structure when you're meditating, so energy can go up more, you know, uh, keep your body, you know, your spine up and down. It was made to do that. There's a fluid going up and down. You're just taking things on a more cutting edge level. That's all you're doing. <laughs> and everything you do. But everybody's doing it. They're just not aware that they could take themselves at cutting edge level to improve their health, their well-being, and function differently. Does that make sense? Yeah, I like to, you know, in my holistic medicine practice, I love to use an analogy. Like, like everybody's been given, like, the top of the line Ferrari, but we don't realize it. So we put the yeah. fuel in, we can hardly get it into the first gear, and we step on the gas and the brake at the same time, the, it's fighting <laughs> against itself. And then one day we somebody tur like you comes along, it's like, Hey, did you know you have a Ferrari, the top of the line one? You can shift yeah. into fifth gear if you want. You should put this kind of fuel and so on, you know? Oh, absolutely. It's sort of like there's a man who made the Guinness Book of World Records. And he made it because his car that he bought some 50 years ago made it a million miles. But the key question they asked him, uh, uh, the interviewer asked him was, what did you do differently for your car to make it a million miles? But there were many cars like that that came off the assembly line at that time. But his made it a million miles. Now his answer was real key. His answer was, I got the instruction manual and I did what the instruction manual that came with the vehicle told me to do. <laughs> <laughs> in other words, when it's time to get an oil change, get an oil change. But you'd be surprised how some people just keep going until the oil light come on. Right. With uh, time to change and rotate the tires, go get the ro tires rotated. Because this is how many miles you went. That's what the instruction manual said that goes with the vehicle. Now, notice he didn't have to worry about what the manufacturer. See, the manufacturer, when he put it together, and this ain't even saying bringing up a word of God or nothing like that. You don't have to. But we can say there is a manufacturer just because there's this product here that has a instruction manual to go over it. You follow me? Mm -hmm. So if you follow the instruction manual, the vehicle will run like it's supposed to run, it tell you what type of gas to put in, what type of oil, but so many people want to do it the way they want to do it, and the, and the vehicle will soon, it's not going to reach a million miles, not even in the ballpark. <laughs> so that's what it's dealing with, the instruction manual to come back with this vehicle. And that's all we're doing right now. When I started out talking about this is a good conductor of energy. That comes with the instruction manual. It didn't say nothing about eating a cow out in the field, and this is how it's supposed to run. And I did that before, before I came into consciousness, and I've seen the results. Pretty soon the system was selling, didn't know what was taking place, but due to the last thought processes, I thought that was the instructions that came with them, uh, the vehicle, but it don't. You got to put higher level gas in it so it can run a lot more smoothly. <laughs> mm. Does that make sense? So how many miles has this Ellie Tom, this edition of Ellie Tom been running? And how many more miles do you plan to run? Huh. Now we see this action called immortality. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what we're shooting for. So on that level right there, there's more adjustments we got to make. We're staying into the knowledge. Uh, of the rejuvenation, regeneration, detoxification. We understand it more. Hopefully we can get more people into this consciousness to build up the synergy of the planet so that the walk could become a lot easier. But just on every change we make is also affecting uh, what the collective consciousness on the planet. So on this uh, level right here, yes, we are shooting for these immortality type levels, breaking records. <laughs> to keep the vehicle going.
and it feels great. 